Hello you guys, it's Deez. Welcome back to my channel. Or just welcome to my channel if you're a first time viewer. Um, uh, as you can see, I've got a beat, a full beat face of makeup. And I'm wearing my Nike tracksuit. Um, and I've got my ever so busted ass fan. So, um, obviously you guys know what that entails and what that means. And what that means is we, we have another drama video on our hands. So, um, today, I don't know what I'm going to title this video necessarily just yet, but, um, it's basically just my response to Tati's, like, why I did it, dot dot dot, to, to, to dramatize it, like, you know, and make it a little bit more melodramatic than it had to be or whatever, um, and also about, uh, whether or not I believe that, um, <clears throat> James Charles is buying, um, subs, subscribers, terminology is beside the point, but, um, I hope you guys are here for this sort of thing. Um, my last two, I mean, I did an ASMR video and I did like an amateur AF, um, you know, as F U C K. I try not to swear. Not, I try not to swear in this channel um, as often as possible, just because I know I have some viewers under the age of 18, just based off of um, corresponding with all of my um, viewers and subscribers, like I always do. Um, and that's my probably my favorite part of being a YouTuber. Um, okay, first thing I want to say about. <clears throat> Excuse me. I never bring my drink in here, and I always regret it. Um, but, I mean, it is the bathroom, so, I mean, I guess I kind of, like, I get why I don't bring it in here. Um, yeah, comment down below if you guys would like um, me to, like, walk you guys through step by step, like, how I, how I completed this, like, the contour of it all, the highlight of it all, the lip of it all, um, the blush of it all, you know, you know what I mean, like, the bronze of it all, the whole thing. I didn't do shadow this time because I was, like, hello, pretty natural uh, beat face for Steez. But okay, this is not um, a brag about your makeup look, Steez. This is a drama video. But no, I just, um, honestly, I want to say that I really do think that, um, and I mean, you can clock me on it if you want, whatever, I don't care. But I really do think that um, if you guys, like, you know, have a different opinion, that's fine. But I really do think that um, Tati's response video, um, or whatever, like, uh, that she, or her, the most recent video that she made since her infamous Bi Sister video, um, I believe that it was, um, very transparent. I believe it was completely, oh, I just hit my foot on the toilet because I'm a classy, classy bitch and it keeps it real. Um, no, but, uh, I believe it was completely transparent, very authentic. Um, I think that she was being completely honest. I mean, I, I really do. Uh, that's one thing I don't do on my channel is, um, you know, uh, say things that I don't believe in, or, um, you know what I mean, promote products that aren't good products. Like, if I'm doing a swatch, you're gonna know if it's a good or bad swatch, because my, um, my reactions, my genuine reactions and expressions are always written all over my face, and, um, y you, you will never catch me lying on this channel, is what I'm trying to say. And if you guys are, um, regulars of my channel, and you're Steez Heads or Steez Burgers, I mean, or Cheeseburgers, then you're well aware of the fact that I keep it real, and, um, not, not afraid to do so. I'm a humble ass, real ass, middle class bitch. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I totally believe her completely. Like, um, like I was saying, uh, I think that, um, I mean, her having to cut, like, you know, so many times, like, just to the point, I mean, so, the, so that, like, we wouldn't see her crying. Like, I mean, like, you know, they call it, like, the ugly cry and stuff, because, I mean, you know, nobody wants to, like, ugly cry on YouTube. It's like, yeah, like, I've gotten, like, teary-eyed and stuff, and, like, um, and, and videos and stuff, and, like, emotional, my emotional response to this person's video or this person's video, etc. You, you guys get the gist of it. But, um, I also want to say that it's really funny, like, because, like, people always comment on Tati's videos and say that, like, she does unintentional ASMR, you know, like, you should do ASMR because your voice is so awesome and it puts people to sleep, which is kind of like a double-edged sword to, to Tati Westbrook, and, you know, she's, she's often said that, like, is it because I'm boring or is it because my voice is relaxing? You know, that whole thing, but it's, honestly, Tati, you're not boring, um, you keep this bitch entertained on the daily, well, not lately, but, I mean, you did, like, um, up to, up until, like, a, a week ago, basically, at this point, when you made your bi sister video, because, I mean, you stopped making, um, five videos a week, but you still made three, and this bitch was here for all three of them. As I will be as soon as you start back up, girl, I promise, I really will be. Um, also, I want to point, um, out the fact that, like, it really is rare to find, um, people within the YouTube community, within the YouTube quote-unquote game, if you will. Um, like, it's hard to find real friends in, in that aspect of things. Um... Like, I just started my YouTube channel seriously, and I mean seriously just based on, like, production value, like, doing my research, like, finding the receipts, like, um, learning, um, how to use my editing software, um, you know, because I do everything from my phone, <laughs> everything, and, uh, I, I'm just, um, I just know that, um, you know, like, <sighs> what I'm trying to say is, 
<sighs> okay, sorry about that little interlude, you guys, but um, I'm going to try to do as few jump cuts as possible, I promise, and it was funny because I was just talking about my editing software, and I fumbled them, and your girl sees fumbled on her words, but no, I just wanted to point out that, like, compared to, like, actual other, like, people that are in the YouTube game that I've come across, and there are, there are a handful of them that are, like, super sweet, and, like, I consider to be friends, and everything like that, but there's only a handful of people that, like, I've actually given my phone number to, and, um, like, that I really trust, and that I connect to, like, um, outside of, like, a YouTube standpoint, or, like, frame, if that makes sense, and, and those people are, um, my viewers and subscribers that have commented down below, because, um, I mean, I, there's, there's a handful of you guys, and probably more than a handful, actually, I interact with all my commenters, and all my viewers, and all my subscribers, um, you know, uh, I keep it real with you guys, I keep it 100, um, I really think, um, that the bonds that I've made with some of you guys in the comment section, even past the comment section, wink wink to a few of you, um, I mean, I can't be giving my phone number out to everybody, you know what I mean, but there's a select few of you that know who you are, and, um, you're all amazing and beautiful and talented in your own right, and I, and I love and respect you so much, but, um, I also, like, okay, and Tati kind of touched on this in her video, too, you know, she said, uh, something along the lines of, like, you know, like, don't cancel James Charles, you know what I mean, like, give James Charles, like, a second chance, like, everybody deserves a second chance, which I agree, and, like, okay, I just, like, I, wrote, I always write down a little bit of an outline, you guys, and it's like, I elaborate on it so much, but I mean, if you guys want to, like, screen grab that and clock me on it, I don't read from a script. It's like, whenever this much drama pops off whenever I've been asleep or whatever, because I actually got, like, 10 hours of sleep, which was needed because I've been getting, like, four, like, every 24 hours, like, on the regular, just because I'm, I'm not, I'm new to being a drama channel, you know what I mean? But, um, okay, I wrote down, like, if James Charles actually got real help, um, with his sexual addiction slash compulsive behavior, which is what I think it is, and, um, I don't need the script for this part or whatever, but, like, um, like, it's, it's his, it's his impulse control, it's his, um, sexual addiction, and it's gotten the best of him, and, and time and time again, throughout entertain, I mean, from the infancy of entertainment, we'll put it that way, because YouTube is the highest form of, of entertainment today, that's a fact, there's no speculation there, but no, and what I'm trying to say is, like, men in power, gay, straight, trans, in between every every aspect of being a man and having testosterone flowing through your veins. Um, men in power always abuse that power. And not always sexually, but they abuse it some way. And they abuse it in some way. And nine times out of ten, I hate to say it being a man, but as I've, as I've often said um, on my channel, I don't really like men. I think I'm just feminine enough to like have a brain that is actually um, stronger uh, that has stronger of a force on me and a stronger of a will on me than my penis because I don't get that <laughs> I've never understood that. I don't think that I'll ever understood that but um, I like I w I'm 100% I'm with Tati on this aspect of it I think that James does deserve a second chance Tati didn't mention him having a sexual addiction But from someone that has had an ex-boyfriend I'll go ahead and expose myself. I had an ex-boyfriend that was a sex addict and um James Charles has sex addict written all over his face. <sighs> I mean, he really does. It's like, um, he has all the telltale signs, all the telltale characteristics of lacking impulse, impulse control, um, self-control, um, like, uh, bragging about how many D's he's s and, you know, etc., things of that nature. Um, I'm just trying not to be, I'm, not, I'm trying not to swear, and, like, um, you know, the whole thing, just because, I, like I said, I have a, I know for a fact that I have a younger fan base. But, um, okay, there's one thing that I, that I really do want to say, and I'm going to elaborate, elaborate on this one a lot. I just kind of wrote down that, like, I would love to be a fly on the wall for, because, I mean, if you, I'm sure you, if you guys are watching this video, then you, you most likely watched, um, Tati's video, and you know that she said, like, it, she doesn't know when, she doesn't know where, and she doesn't know how long it's going to take her, but... She did say that um, her and James, she plans on meeting with James, Charles, uh, face to face. And um, <laughs> who else would love more than anything, like, for them to, like, actually just let the cameras be rolling? And, like, I know what it's not, that's not what it's about. If, like, she's, if she really wants to, like, work on their, like, actual genuine friendship, like, I get it. No, that's not what it's about. But, you know, at the same time, I just think that it would be kind of, like, a huge disservice to her audience. Um, I don't know. Do you guys agree with me on that one? I hope so. Ooh, girl. <laughs> okay. Oh, this busted ass fan. I love you, girl. You've been so good to me. <laughs> I've had it for like three weeks and it hasn't been that good to me. But I still love it because it makes that iconic popping sound. And it, it works for a great comedic um, prop on my channel. So no hate, no hate there, girls and boys and everybody in between.
I should come out with merch, right, that says that, because it's like a new quote that I invented. Um, that and, um, I, I was I was feeling really inspired, or I was feeling really happy, but the universe chose to take that away from me today, so that's another one that I say quite often on my channel. Um, I mean, obviously I'm not thinking about getting merch with 113 subscribers, but I, I mean, I'm really grateful for 113 subscribers, don't get me wrong. Um, I, they grow every, I get, I get a couple or a few every single day, I have the past week, and thank you, it's so humbling. But, um, this is not, um, a toot your own horn, toot toot, steez steez, uh, toot your own horn, toot toot, steez video. Huh. Um, so, like, we're going to move on to my next, um, little point in my little outline that I made for this video. And, um, this may be the shadiest, I'll give you guys a little bit of breeze too, because this one's gonna be a little bit shady. Okay. Yeah, um... I think that Nikita Dragon and Gabriel Zamora need to butt out, and they need to keep their mouths shut about things that they don't understand. Like, have, have we not all figured out yet that Nikita Dragon and Gabriel Zamora, um, like, are still friends with James Charles, and they're still in communication with James Charles? So, um, isn't their opinion of James Charles going to be biased in the first place? Um, Absolutely, it's gonna freaking be biased. Are you kidding me? Uh, let me see what else. if I did. I write down anything that I need that I missed. Yeah, I mean no, I didn't. Like I said, that's pretty much it. I just think that they should they should keep their nose like out of where it doesn't belong. Mind their own business. Like like okay, yeah, you're friends with um with with James Charles, Nikita, and Gabriel. That's cool. But like um let them cope with this and deal with this on their own terms. Like Tati's willing to work on things, and you guys like butting in and like putting your two cents on it and saying that you have receipts and stuff and showing conversations like about sugar bear, bear pills, Nikita, and you backing it up, Gabriel, is really, really counterproductive and it's something that I don't appreciate as a fellow creator. Big big or small. <laughs> I just don't appreciate Do I do humble little gay old moi do I enjoy making drama videos? I mean I really don't. Like I don't enjoy making them. Um it's just like <sighs> Let me, how do I put this? I stan, other than, other than for James Charles and Nikita and for Gabriel Zamora, like, um, other than those three, like, I, and Trisha and Jeffree Star, like, I mean, I stand for Tati, I think, he, I think that, um, that, that she's fantastic, otherwise I wouldn't feel, um, passionate, compelled, or inspired to make this video. And as I promised you guys, like, a multitude and a plethora of times on my channel, that you're not going to find me making a video unless I feel inspired to do so. And I felt like I needed to make this, and like, um, it's not, like, like, in what, in what world, like, in what universe would I expect, like, Tati Westbrook to actually see this video? Because I don't, that's not what it's about. But it's about letting my voice be heard, and letting me tell my truth. And that's why, like, um, I just, there are a lot of biased drama channels, and I'm not going to name names there at all because I'm not. I'm just not like that. Um, but I do want to uh, name uh, a few. My three favorite, um, as of about a week ago, my three favorite. Well, no, I've, Rich Lux has been um, one of my favorite. He's been my favorite drama channel for a good solid year and a half, maybe about, maybe a little bit less than a year and a half, but for sure, that's how long I've been commenting, and he's been the sweetest, and loved comments, and, and things like that, on Instagram, and commented on things on Instagram, and even commented on one of my own side girl Topanga channel uh, uh, videos, like, I, can't, I couldn't believe it, like, he even commented, like, and said, love you, because it was like a little shout out to like him and Luscious, and it, yeah, you guys can go back and find it if, if you want to see it, I have orange lipstick on, and huge falsies, so yeah, but, um, I just want to shout out these three channels, um, and, like, I was subscribed to As Told by Kenya, K-E-N-Y-A, uh, As Told by Kenya, um, I, I've been, I was, I subscribed to her right at the, at the point whenever she had about, like, 9.6, uh, thousand subscribers. She now has over 150,000 subscribers. Honestly, like, you go, girl. <laughs> like, you're the realist in the game. Um, you keep it 100. You're fantastic. You're so entertaining. And the reason why you're so entertaining is because, like, you let your guard down completely. You're, you're, you are yourself. Like, it doesn't matter how many people are watching. Like, you're just as humble and you're just as real as whenever um, I stumbled upon your channel um, a, couple, a week or so ago. Whenever you had 9.6 thousand subscribers. So I'm so proud of you. And it just gives, like, little influencers. I mean, I hate the word influencer. I'm not, I'm not an influencer. I, don't, I just always slip up and say it because 
it's like YouTube YouTuber terminology and YouTuber culture, whatever. But no, um, like it just gives uh, creators um, and other YouTubers like me that just like want to get their uh, stories heard and get their point across and um, get their message out there a little bit. Like it gives us hope. It really does. So thank you so much, Kenya, and I love your channel, and um, I will definitely link you in the description box down below. Also, um, Jalen, uh, I, I believe it's Jalen... T. Johnson, or it might just be Jalen Johnson, uh, J-A-H-L-E-N, and everybody knows how to spell Johnson. So yeah, if you're not subscribed to her, um, she has like 3.8 uh, thousand subscribers, and she definitely deserves to blow up um, in the same vein of As Told by Kenya. Like, she needs a good 200,000 subscribers like yesterday. She's so talented. Her editing skills are on point. She's down to earth. She's humble, and she's real. Um, <clears throat> And obviously, like, I already spo I kind of, like, spoiler alert, <laughs> busted-ass fan and busted-ass, a busted-ass bitch using a busted-ass fan, alert, spoiler alert, um, <laughs> I'm a robot. No, um, in closing, I just want to say thank you so much, Rich Lux, um, for all the inspiration. Um, I didn't even know about, um, uh, oh, wait, did I even touch on the fact that, like, I think that, uh, that, that I think, like, it's kind of a toss-up, like, whether or not James Charles is buying subscribers? Did I touch, did I, did I touch on that? Well, regardless, in closing, I want to say that, um, because I, I don't, I didn't write any of this, I didn't write that part of it down on my little outline, or whatever, so, yeah, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, okay, I, I mean, his subscriber count has gone up, there are receipts or whatever, because I saw them in, um, uh, one of, uh, Jalen's, um, screen grabs from, I mean, one of Jalen's thumb, thumbnails from her channel, right whenever I woke up, about two, about an hour ago, as well as, um, uh, Rich Lux had a video, he didn't have receipts in the, um, but it said, is, is James Charles buying subs? And then I think Jalen's was something along, Jalen's was also, her video title was something along the lines of, I don't know what's wrong with me, I really don't, um, <laughs> I just get flustered and really excited but, about being here for you guys, but no, her video was also in the same vein of Rich's, um, video title, uh, it was like, uh, you know, is James Charles buying subscribers or James, Biles, uh, James Charles buying subscribers with a question mark and her like, but I just want to let um, all three of you guys know, as told by Kenya too, um, she had a James Charles video as well. I don't remember what the title was, but I will link um, all the everythings of everybody's everythings um, in the description box down below. So please, like, if you like me as a um, as a creator and you're not aware of um, any of these three people, like most of you, obviously you're going to know Rich Lux because he's like pretty much a household name at this point. But um, if you don't know uh, Jalen Johnson or as told by Kenya, please go and subscribe to them because they're awesome. But um, I just, it's kind of a toss-up to me whether or not um, James is buying and buying or not buying subscribers. But um, I also just wanted to say that, like, I haven't watched any of the videos of any of my favorite drama channels yet. Like, that's one thing. Like, I saw the titles. Um, like, I didn't do I didn't do any of my own research at all, at all other than um, just seeing, like, Nikita and Gabriel's video title and how shady, like, it was. And Nikita even posted something, like, on YouTube, like, that you can like that wasn't a video. Just, like, hope you guys are ready for a really, really shady lady video about, like, the truth about what's going on in the scenes with, like, Tati Westbrook and James Charles. And it's, like... Girl, bye. You know what I mean? Like, seriously, like, who? I don't know who she's trying to kid. I don't know what. But, I mean, it's like, you're not involved. Like, quit telling yourself that you're involved. Also, you too, Gabriel Zamora, might be the shadiest thing that I've ever said on my channel. And I think, that's, I think that I've said that in every single drama video that I've made thus far. But, whatever. It's true every single time because it gets, I just get a little bit shadier and shadier. But not for the sake of being negative. And that's the mistake that a lot of people, I think, make whenever it comes to drama channels. Because I did not start off this way. It's just whenever I stand for someone, like I do Tati, and I have for years, <laughs> I'm going to defend them and I'm going to, like, let my voice and my opinion be heard. Because, who's to say that, like, there's somebody out there that's, like, thinking about becoming, um, you know, a very small-time creator themselves, a very small-time YouTuber themselves, and my little humble, gay, side girl to Panga channel might inspire them to do so, and if, th and if that's the case, then I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to do at the, ex at the exact right time that I'm supposed to do it, but, um, I love you so much for watching. To my new subscribers, thank you so much, um, and depending on the drama, since I just woke up, like, around like 9 p.m. like or maybe even 9 30 p.m. because this your girl sees had to get some sleep hardcore that's why like I concealed those under eye bags like to the T and like for the gods so you wouldn't be able to tell like I'm an exhausted ass bitch right now but I'm here for the drama and I'm here for <laughs> I'm here for the tea <laughs> that fans had it I'm gonna have to get another fan it's still funny, but it's a little bit frustrating sometimes. So, um, Steez loves you so much. Um, I don't know why I talk in the, in the, talk in the third person sometimes. Maybe it's because I'm a little bit unstable. Possibly. Maybe. I think so. You think so? I think so, too. Okay, um, before I start to ramble and rant, if I haven't already begun to do so, I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah!